Jake Paul is firing more shots at his arch nemesis MMA fighter Dylan Danis. And man, he's going all in. Like the only reason anyone knows who he is is because he's used me and my brother's name to Come make on, a Jake. name for himself. And he got punched in the face by Khabib. And Dylan, I know you're watching this and just remember you're still a bitch and I hooked up with your girlfriend. <laughs> you of course, the YouTube superstar and the Bellator fighter have been beefing for about a year now, ever since Jake called him out and says that he could beat him in a boxing match. Now, fast forward to Monday, where Dylan claims that Jake's camp offered him $5 million to step into the ring with him. And Jake told us, that's not true at all. He doesn't have more than 500K in his bank account. So, he so like, I don't know what he's talking him. about. He's an idiot. So you definitely will kick his ass eventually. Yeah, for sure. Now, Jake is all about that content, so he's gonna fight Dylan eventually, but just when the fans want him to. Toronto Raptors super fan and team ambassador, Drake, got a championship ring. A lot of people were wondering if Drake was actually gonna get a ring, and yes, he did get the team issued ring, which has 74 diamonds, representing uh, each of their wins during the season, but he also had the most amazing, insane custom ring to commemorate the title made from Jason of Beverly Hills, one of the top jewelers in the country, and this thing is absolutely amazing. It has 30 carats of diamonds, bigger than any NBA championship ring that's ever been given out. So what do you do when you get a championship ring? You rock it out, and that's exactly what Drake did when we saw him out in LA last night. He wasn't wearing the Raptors team ring, he was wearing his custom championship ring, and he flashed it for us. What's up, G? Let me check out that ring. How's it feel to have the most iced out ring, bro? Guys. Hey, bro. <laughs> The famous Bronx Stairs, where Joaquin Phoenix transforms into the Joker in the movie, um, they have become quite the thing, where people are actually uh, doing their own Joker poses on those stairs. But Representative AOC says her constituents lay claim to that property. I think the way a lot of us feel is, listen, like keep your Instagram posts outside of the boogie down. Like, this is for us. <laughs> it's, it's classic precisely because they're so long. So. People try to skate on them, they try to slide down them. I'm sure people, have, people have been doing that dance a long time. <laughs>